we had a lot of preseason action. It is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Games, 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 games. Rookie quarterbacks playing out the ass. Not like ass, out the ass. Every All the rookies look good, which is kind of crazy. Um, except for Drake May, because they said, you don't, you don't get to play, Drake. Here's here's one series. That's all you need. Well, I'm, you know, you know there's other quarterbacks that only got uh, one series and that, uh, you know, not a rookie, but. Uh, Jordan Love. Three plays, baby. It's all I, to 60. I was watching it this morning. And I was like, 65 yard tutty to Dontavian Wicks. I was like, I'm good. They pulled him. I was like, yep, I've seen, I've yeah. seen what I need to see. What's, what's stupid about that, that Jordan Love touchdown is the play before was a swing pass to Josh Jacobs for a yep. one yard loss. Yep. So his stat line was one pass, negative one yard. One play later, two for two, 63. Four yards and a touchdown. <laughs> Done. Done. And so they asked yeah, Jordan right. Love afterwards, too. They're like, are you disappointed you didn't get more reps? He's like, no, we got a touchdown. That's what I wanted. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's it. Because now it's just about evaluation. And you know what I do like, though, that for this, I know there's less preseason games, but I do like that there was a good chunk of starters. Like, a bunch of teams decided to play their starters, even if it was for, like, a short amount of time. Just because, let's be very honest, it's just more interesting, you know, in terms of just, yeah. like, watching, like, third, fourth string guys. but. Yeah, how did Zach, uh, good old Zach, you, did Zach Wilson play? I didn't watch yeah. it. Zach, right. was, Zach was fine. Okay. Every Broncos quarterback played fine. So, you know, that's that's a positive. Okay. Um, Zach came in in the, uh, Bo Nix actually did a, a ser- I think one series, maybe two series after halftime. Um, so he played a little longer than I thought. And then Zach Wilson was respectable, you know? Yeah. Very respectable. But yeah, I watched that. I watched the Jordan Love stuff this morning, and I was like, "Yeah, that's yep. son of a son of a gun." But I mean, Wicks. It was just a mismatch in coverage. He was a safety was covering Wicks, and he just he just torched him. He just torched him. <laughs> Done. I, I mean, like, wow, we did, nice. It's been talking about this the entire like off season, especially after last season, the route running of Dontavian Wicks, and he's been the guy who's like, "Oh, is he going to be wide receiver one?" There's a lot of stuff coming out about Romeo Dobbs, and even Love when asked this question, it's like, "We don't need a wide receiver one." It's like yeah. any of those guys think they can. Like you have Romeo Dobbs explode during the Cowboys game. You have Bo Melton, who was the first receiver last year for the Packers to get over a hundred yards in a game, right? Like there's just, Christian Watson can be like score three touchdowns, yeah. so. And it's then Jaden Reed in there too, right? Jaden Reed. I mean, God, he could take a freaking whoop jet whoop, sweep, whoop, a little jet, jet sweep. Whoop, 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 gone. So I love that, you know. So I, I think that just to see Wicks and him connect really early on, I was really happy to see that. Um, yeah, he got some some good looks out of the guys competing for a spot or a little bit lower in the depth chart. But yeah, I am curious. Like, what were your thoughts on uh, Bo Nix and seeing? Because there was a lot of was a lot a lot of Okay, let's see. Hype, let's baby. There's a lot of hype today. Remember the Titans, by the way. That's that's mine. Yeah, that's I think that's my answer too. It's I know it's a Disney movie, but it's Great just a, it's a solid movie. It's a good football movie. Great movie. I also like Necessary Roughness. So mm. uh, those would be my two. I like that. Um so Bo. <laughs> oh, Tommy oh. boy. We're so fucking back, baby. <laughs> Yes! I saw the tutty, the quick tutty to the left side uh, in the end zone. Oh, oh, that was a nice touchdown throw. Josh dropped one. When, when did Josh Reynolds drop any other passes? I can't think of two times in an NFC ch- championship game, but um, okay. I've had time to think about this. Tell me, Fernand. I'm trying to, to grade all the quarterbacks, all the rookies on a scale. Okay. Yep. Because they all did nice things. And I feel like this is the first time I say this in my episode. So I will repeat myself today, though, that we have like this many first round quarterbacks come out week one of the preseason in every fan base is like, yes. All right. We are are going in the right direction. Caleb Williams. Bears fans are excited. Uh, Jaden Daniels. um, Commanders fans. Excited. Yep. Michael Penix. Nice throw. Falcons fans are like, okay, Drake may again, he didn't get a chance to shine, which is unfortunate because I think rookie quarterbacks need more than one series 
in the sure. pre get him comfortable get him let him make, let him make a few plays because that's what jj mccarthy did through it yeah early like ah, ha, 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 all the broncos fans out there tweeting look at sean payton letting the vikings jump in for jj yeah and then you watch the rest of jj McCarthy's game and if you're you know, in the NFC North, All right, you're grading like according like fairly. I think JJ played better than Caleb Williams did in their debut. Uh, uh, and then Bo Nix. I think JJ had the best performance. Just looking at the types of throws he made, um, he looked good. But Bo Nix, we are. Oh, we're doing it to ourselves again for sure. Yep. Because this is, this is the. This is where it starts to hurt because you're like Denver Twitter I'm is optimistic. Yep. Broncos Twitter optimistic. And then I had a chance to listen to uh, local radio mm -hmm. on the, the drive to the airport this morning and on the way back. Mark Schlereth doubling down on how right he was about Ru Russell Wilson. A Bo Nix is already better than him. Um, and I think it's fair. Like we saw good things from Bo Nix. Okay. He made nice throws. Made a few plays with his legs. The Broncos didn't give up a single sack in the game. That's good. Um, run game looked better. He should have had another touchdown. So it just looked good. It felt good. Watching that game, it felt good. And even, even Jarrett Stidham played well in his first series or two. And if you just go look at his box score, he's got a pick on there, but it wasn't his fault. It bounced out of Samaj P. Ryan's hands and, and, and right to Indy. So... Um, Bo Nix looked good. He had two big plays that were aided by pass interference calls. Mm. They were the correct calls, but like, you know, those are big chunk plays that help the offense. I think we'll get a better read on Bo Nix next week. We'll see him start with the, the ones go against the ones. The Broncos also kept their starting offensive line in for a couple series with Bo Nix. Um, I don't know where Indy was at on their defense at that point, but, uh, I would say they had the advantage there. But, you know, I think he 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 stepped into the pocket a few times. He just he looked like he knew what he was doing more than Russell Wilson with Sean Payton. <laughs> and it's early. It's a small sample size, okay? It's sure. small. I know. I don't want to crown him yet, but he gave us everything we wanted to see, and now we fucking love him, and we will die for that man. That's we will fair. die for Bo Nix. Well, I think it's, it's a mix of, right? So like what Payton's saying. Like you, you're happy when, especially the young guys, and if they're what you hope to be the f the future of the franchise, they play well. Like it is preseason, right? Yeah. So it's like okay, it's the same thing with Cam. I I have seen accounts that are keeping track of stats during training camp. <laughs> yeah, and I, like, I have been going on rants about this, guys. <laughs> like I love football, and I think there's something to be said that people that want to do the deep dives and do all. 100 percent 100 percent yeah but when i tell you that those numbers do not matter in no. any way shape or form and i mean anyway it's yes. like well you could get an accurate no you cannot you don't know what they're working on you don't know what the play they're called the, no so we could we could we could ease off you want to do that fine i'm just saying it, it's not it's not the most productive there's other stats you could look into it's not the most productive but I mean, like, dude, yeah, you have to have some excitement because, like, if you're the Bears, right? Caleb Williams looked really poised in the pocket, which was everything coming out of school, right? Made some plays on the run, which looked really, really yeah. good. Yeah, nice J.D. Throw. McCarthy, like you mentioned, looked really good. And these are all, like, reasons to be optimistic about the team. But, like, until week one and, like, those pads are on and you're playing against, like, NFL defenses, we're just not yeah. going to know.